Hello everyone, everybody, welcome to our uh, Horizon Weekly Insider number eight. Thank you, Vanna, for um, that uh, number. So happy Thursday and please uh, remember as usual, the recording of this call will be available on both Horizon uh, podcast and as well as in our YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's just start with our updates and I welcome Luca Cermeli um, from Milan. Thank you, Angie. Hi, everybody. Luca from Milano, uh, where our office just became much more cool as uh, we received an amazing gift from uh, our community star, AGN Fab, from uh, Sweden. This week, we received uh, this package from him. It contained three really awesome paintings. We opened the package all together. Rob did it in particular. And not only there were three paintings, but also a beautiful letter and, and written full of love. So. Uh, I took a picture of the letter and then posting it in the channel later. Uh, really, thank you. I wanted to start with that. Then our office became even cooler thanks to the new Horizon posters provided by Lucy, and I'm sharing additional pictures about that so you can have a look too. But uh, um, uh, now I, I will uh, pass it to Alberto. Today we will have Alberto giving his tech updates and also uh, later on, we will have Alexander pr providing some more information. Please, Alberto, go on. Thank you, Luca. Okay, uh, regarding the last vulnerability that was disclosed uh, by Zcash, the one known as ping. Okay, we have imported the fix in our code and we are currently testing it. And so far, everything seems okay. So uh, if everything is OK, uh, and uh, it seems to be, we are going to include it in the next release, the 2.0.19. OK, uh, switching topic. Uh, this week, we have been, uh, we had a very productive workshop here in Milan, uh, where we proceeded with the formal description of the site and model extension, the one that we have been working on for the last six months in stealth mode. Uh, this formal description is um, a sort of prerequisite uh, to publish a dedicated paper on this extended model that is going to be uh, released uh, very soon. And regarding uh, uh, SDK development, uh, uh, this week we also reviewed uh, several pull requests and uh, uh, we can announce that a sidechain node was able to interact with the main chain node. And this interaction uh, allowed a sidechain node uh, to include the main chain block references in a sidechain block. And since we have Alexander here, uh, as Luca said, uh, Alexander can provide more details about it. Uh, please, Alexander. Thanks, Alberto. Yes, uh, we have been able to test the uh, WebSocket communication between a sidechain node and a mainchain node. So in particular, the sidechain node during the forging process was able to send a command to the mainchain node via this WebSocket to get the new tip in mainchain. And the mainchain node was able to answer with a real mainchain block. And the sidechain node received it, parsed it, and included in the new forge session block as a mentioned block reference, which, which is something like a representation of mentioned blocks in a sidechain. So this is very important because we have demonstrated that the communication was working properly. Um, so that's really cool. Current activity now is verifying that sidechain related information, which was included in the main chain block, are going to be parsed correctly and included in the mentioned block reference in a correct way. So that's it. That's all. <laughs> Back to you. Thanks. Sounds great. <laughs> OK, Luca, please go on. OK, I think this was it uh, from uh, the engineering side. So actually, back to Angie. Thank you. Thank you, guys. The next one is Chronic on the infrastructure side. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, also reporting from Milan this week. On the uh, infrastructure side, we've uh, added new DNS seed nodes for both mainnet and testnet. And those will be included in the next uh, release of Zendee. And um, we've been testing 
all of the needed, uh, all of the changes that have been made in Zendee so far, and uh, we'll be testing the uh, fix of the Zcash exploit, like Alberto mentioned, uh, trying to include it uh, before the deprecation hits. So 2.019 isn't far away. The release currently is uh, scheduled for next week uh, with uh, on the 11th, and the binaries will be available on the, the 14th, which will be Monday. Uh, other than that, um, we started setting up a testnet dedicated to sidechains. So this will be a public testnet for the uh, sidechain alpha release, where uh, any developer that wants to start uh, developing sidechains, wants to play with them, can um, test them. And uh, this is done so that uh, we do not have to introduce any changes on the main chain side quite yet. Um, because we, we really want to be very thorough with everything and make sure that everything works before we uh, deploy all of those changes, even on the main test net. Uh, and I'm passing on to Alan with updates from the node tracking system. Hello, everyone. Uh, recently, I just updated the API guide with some of the new calls that were included in the recent update. Um, last week, and uh, it looks like there are already some hosters out there who are using the subkey feature that's out there, so uh, so that their customers can see all of their data within the tracking system itself. And um, I've moved on to working on aggregating payments into a, a single payment per week which is something that uh, we've talked about for a while, uh, but finally getting the time to address that. And hopefully that'll be part of the next update that goes out uh, maybe by the end of the month sometime. That's it. Pass it back to you, Angie. Thank you, Alan. Next one would be Gustavo on the UX side. Hey, everyone. So we'll start with the help desk update. Please, Spencer. Good morning, everyone. Help desk is continuing to uh, go as as it should. We have 13 items open. We have zero items waiting for support by the help desk. We have nine items that are waiting for customer response. We have four items which are in an aged or customer unresponsive status, which will eventually either be closed or the customer will eventually respond to us and will go back into a either support or customer mode. That's it from the help desk. Thanks, Spencer. Another thing that I would like to highlight, we've been having issues with impersonators on our social media channels, and we've been having Mac from our team having a close eye on that. Can you expand on it, Mac? Hey, Mac here from the UK. Um, yes, unfortunately, recently one of our customers um, was direct messaged by a bot. Um, which was claiming to distribute software updates for Sphere, which linked to a malicious GitHub repository. Um, now, unfortunately, this guy had essentially had a full compromise from this. Um, the repository in question did basically installed a Trojan on his PC, emptied his wallets, um, and attempted a whole bunch of other things. Um, so the first kind of notice I wanted to say was, we will categorically never distribute software via a bot or via direct message. Um, it would always be an announcement within a channel from a, from a, um, one of the team members. Um, secondly, on the impersonation front, um, it, we just have a, a huge um, rise in the number of people trying to scam people via direct message. Um, this All of this has spurred us on to double down the efforts on um, our rules of engagement for support and also security best practices. So in the coming week, you're going to see some information being distributed on how we perform support and how best to keep yourself safe um, on Discord and Telegram and all of the other different social media channels. Um, so kind of watch the space on that. And we have a, um, a meeting all around that stuff tomorrow to um, figure this all out. Cheers. OK, thanks, Mick. On development side, on the faucet, we are calling counter maintenance. We are almost done with it. so. Expect it to go live within the next 12 hours on the web development. Tony is also working on the Ryzen development environment along with Jonas. 
Also with Jonas, I'm uh, collaborating for a workshop. Not sure if Jonas later wants to expand on that. And Sphere Desktop, we are just prepping a new release for the upcoming deprecation. And I would just highlight that this release will also contain the optimizations to batch withdraw. And it's everything on our side. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Uh, okay, on the BD section, uh, Vano, would you like to add something? Uh, hello, everyone. Vano speaking from Georgia. Uh, so Horizon has been invited to participate in some form in a locally shot movie about blockchain and cryptocurrencies, which will include several series in it and several good, quite uh, well-known people here in Georgia are you know, shooting that movie. Uh, and I will need uh, consultations with our marketing team to get ideas how we can be presented best in that movie. I'm also in talks with several regional and global exchanges, names of which I cannot disclose, disclose um, publicly, obviously, but I think soon we will have some form of news about them. And apart from that, I will be attending DevOpsCon Tbilisi 29. The conference this weekend in Tbilisi, and uh, it will be a great possibility to meet some of the best DevOps engineers and developers there from Georgia to exchange ideas about our upcoming side chains. And I'm also preparing for my visit to Erevan, Armenia, for the Chainpoint 19 conference on October 14th and 15th. That's all from me. Back to you, Angie. Thank you, Vano. Next one is Jonas and the HDA updates. Hey everyone, <clears throat> so over the last uh, finished the draft for the HTE uh, website content and Erica is currently um, working on it to provide some improvements for that. Um, additionally, we are still refining the Zen IP process. Um, the pull request for the process specification is in and <clears throat> I'm currently working on some graphics that um, make the whole process approachable for people not willing to read the entire document. Um, I can post a picture into the weekly insider channel just now. Um, this will also give you an idea of what the great job Linda usually does because the type of graphic is totally not polished and that's usually something that I give to her at that stage and then she makes it look good. Um, at this point, shout out to Linda for the good stuff she always does. Um, and that is about it from my side, planning my trip to Milan just now. We'll come down there on Sunday to meet the team. Um, looking forward to that. And yep, will be it. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Jonas. Next one is Lucy on the marketing side. Hello, everyone. Um, so today I, it will just be me giving um, updates. Um, Jonathan's not feeling very well, and I hope yeah, feels better very soon. So um, a little update about the theme competition. So the community voting ended on Monday, and then the uh, uh, community picked out the top four themes for us. So uh, they are creators of Earth's moon, Jupiter's moon, constellations that depict animals or animate objects, and asteroids. So they will be used as the themes uh, when we uh, name different types of software releases from now on uh, so thank you for the uh, for participation uh, and then we'll be sending out the prize to the winners uh, and then also we'll be publishing a q3 review on the blog today we are also working on the next um, sidechain uh, related blog post uh, and this blog post is about some really interesting discussion between our uh, leadership and our community members that happened on our telegram channel so uh, it's a very interesting discussion about uh, the um, Horizon sidechain, and I uh, and I think it, you know this conversation touched uh, a lot of topics that many committee members also are interested in. So it will be an interesting read. Uh, and then if you are not on our Telegram uh, Telegram channel, uh, please join. So maybe next time uh, you can also be part of the uh, 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 discussion, you know, in real time. Uh, so anyways, uh, we should have the blog post ready to publish later this week, and uh, Erica is working on this one. Uh, and then also, I, I mentioned that last week inside, uh, that we released our upgraded faucet uh, with new features that reward people uh, more than for their continuous uh, support of the project. So since the release, we have been having great success with, uh, with the faucet, and then they received a very positive response from the community. 
Uh, we've got so much traffic to our faucet. Uh, so currently, we are doing maintenance and implementing further improvement uh, to the system so we can bet, you know, uh, provide better experiences for, for all the visitors for increased traffic. Uh, so our faucet is currently on a maintenance mode, and, and it will be up and running very, very soon. Uh, and this is exactly why we uh, uh, we, we gave uh, our new faucet, you know, uh, a, a trial run so we can test it and improve it uh, before we promote it further. Uh, and then the increase in traffic to the faucet has also helped us grow on our social media and also, you know, uh, traffic to our Horizon Academy. Uh, and then also with the uh, increased number of stores we are getting, uh, we are uh, looking to more ways that we can incentivize uh, community members to help share the uh, horizon vision and mission. And speaking of social media, we are getting more and more followers on our new account on Instagram. Like Luca uh, just mentioned, recently our Milan office has just really decked out their space with lots of horizon decors and original artwork from our community. Uh, so we posted a lot of pictures on Instagram. Uh, be sure to check them out and also follow us on there. And uh, that's it for me. Back to you, Angie. Thank you, Lucy. Next, next one would be Dean on the legal side. Hey, everybody. No comments today. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Next one would be Rosario on the product and engineering side. Hi, guys. Uh, this is Rosario. I'm uh, from, I am in Milan, in the Milan office, and it's been very, very exciting. Uh, to be here and work with the team. So we've had a series of discussions, uh, Zendi planning, of course, also strategies on uh, team allocations and resources. And that's something that's just been ongoing. And also a, the, the campaign for the sidechain alpha release. Uh, we have a series of, of videos uh, that will be coming out. Uh, some will be high level and Ralph I haven't had a chance to catch up with you but uh, I know you're always up for videos so I uh, figured that your time uh, in Milan would be a best sort of having a, a, a video and talking about uh, what we're doing with with the project uh, but what's really exciting is that we'll have uh, our developers actually talk about the details of uh, the sidechain uh, and its applications and, and the development process. So that will be something that will come in the upcoming weeks. And of course, we're also prepping for the quarterly review content for our community. And uh, that is it for now. Thank you. Thank you, Rosario. And now for the leadership closing, closing part, Rob. Thanks, Angie. Uh, okay, guys, we have a really, really busy uh, October here. so. First off, just starting with um, you know the quarterly review that we're going to be doing at, you know towards the end of the month, but some really big deliverables. So um, the sidechain alpha is is going to be you know, obviously the biggest deliverable for us, and putting together a video series explaining that. And part of the the impetus for the video series was uh, you know the project number one has changed so much, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, but we also want to make sure that what is in the alpha is very clear and there aren't any uh, misperceptions. So really there's major miles um, and it's going on, on testnet, but there will be you know, some things in there that will be useful for developers and some things that, you know, are going to be obviously missing like consensus on a side chain, um, you know, a, cons a blockchain consensus within there, right? This is a first step and really what we're targeting for this or, uh, blockchain developers that want to start uh, getting to understand the SDK and understanding the technology, but is not at all meant, to, you know, for a production level release. Uh, we also have the the next uh, Zen D version 2.0.19 uh, coming up here for release, and hopefully we get the the bug fix in, in there. Um, let's see, we have because things are changing so much in the project, and they've changed significantly from when we launched back in 2017. We're actually working on a new white paper. Um, this is something that we're working internally right now. The plan is going to be, what I'm targeting is uh, hopefully by the 18th of this month, I'd like to get this up in, on our public GitHub repository so that the entire community can look at it and you know provide comments, suggestions, uh, and, and potentially even um, contribute to it over time. So what I want with this white paper is not to be a static document, but really a living document that kind of evolves with the project. 
Uh, so that's why we're going to put it on GitHub. And then the month will will uh, really culminate with uh, a big investor dinner in New York City on the 20th. Um, so guys, we have so much going on here. Basically, what you're seeing is the culmination of, of you know months worth of planning on on the software side, uh, months of planning on kind of the marketing, the the uh, you know with the investor dinner side. So we'll see where things go by the end of the month, but it's going to be a pretty big one. So everyone on the team has to buckle down, really focus on your core deliverables, and let's make sure that we get everything done successfully. Now over to Lucy, I believe, do you have the mentee questions? Hey Rob, yes, we do we have some questions on here. Um, so the first question uh, is, uh, uh, the deals were mentioned on last call that got canceled because of the privacy feature in Zen, what deals was that? Mm, okay, okay, if I understand the question. so. One of the, the big strategic um, you know, directions that we can take and, and we've been considering quite deeply uh, is to take advantage of the sidechain technology that, that we're developing right now and uh, basically move uh, the, the core zero knowledge privacy from the main chain to uh, you know, a, a suite of tools for sidechains. In, in fact, we could do a series of different privacy related and basically move that technology off of the main chain for a variety of reasons. Um, from the regular, regulatory perspective, it would be interesting because regulators seem to be getting more interested in privacy coins. Um, so to have a really simple main chain that is more Bitcoin-like, um, I think has a, a more established legal framework. Uh, but then also on the technical side, so it, it's a much more elegant architecture to keep a simple main chain and to do all of the application-specific stuff, including private transactions on sidechains. Um, from a security perspective, it's much more interesting because then the, the main chain to sidechain boundary acts as a natural firewall in case there is ever any future bugs, which you know we know there's always going to be bugs in cryptography and in development over time. Uh, it's just a matter of finding them. So having that natural firewalls boundary is, is interesting. And even the ability to have a full audit of the Zen coin supply uh, is another interesting benefit that would come from that. But this is a really big strategic shift, so it's still TBD. Um, what we've been doing so far is you know, heavy discussions internally, but also so socializing this with the community. Settings like this, we want feedback. We want to hear what you guys think about it. So what's up next, okay. Lucy? Yeah, thank you, Rob. So the next one is, what skills would be necessary to work with first available version of sidechain? Mm, so it, uh, it's really being designed for Java de developers initially. So if you're a Java dev, um, the SDK will be for you. Okay. And, and, yeah, Alberto, any other uh, comments on that? Because I know the, the alpha release is going to be in function compared to what we'll have for beta. Uh, oh yes, for sure. Uh, the um, uh, first S SDK version will be uh, Java-based. Uh, I mean, uh, we are basing uh, the SDK on uh, on the Scorex framework. And on top of it, we have built all. Uh, let me say, we are building all the functionalities and uh, let me say the SDK structure and uh, uh, all the elements that are needed for running a sidechain node. But this doesn't prevent anyone for uh, creating, uh, uh, let me say, an implementation with different languages. So. So uh, the protocol is the, uh, the main part of it. So uh, once you uh, respect the protocol, uh, I mean, from the mention perspective, it doesn't change anything. So uh, this gives uh, to, the, to the developer, uh, let's say, the possibility to, to use any language they want. I mean, obviously, there is the effort of, for uh, developing, let me say, their, the components but uh, is is absolutely possible. Uh, so and even uh, I mean, if you respect the, the the protocol, you can even do not m make your own consensus or even do not have any kind of a consensus. So it's very up to the uh, up to the developer and the user. That's all. Okay. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Uh, so we have uh, uh, the last question is: Are you still hiring devs? Have you opened a new office in the US? Uh, we absolutely are hiring developers. Um, 
And so we're hiring them in uh, our potential U.S. office location. We actually have two offices that we've been considering, uh, one in Austin, one in Raleigh. Uh, so we, we have open positions in both locations right now to really see where we can hire the first critical mass of uh, engineering talent where it makes sense to actually open the office. Now in Milan, uh, we're much more mature with the team there, um, you know, significantly more mature and still adding new developers. Um, so uh, again, Alberto, do you want to mention these skill sets that you're looking for there? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we want the talking. best. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, as you can uh, imagine, I mean, there are many uh, different kind of uh, uh, roles and uh, and also skill sets. So uh, I think that would be quite long to to, to list all of them. Beyond the jokes. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, back to you, Angie. Well, thank you all guys for and girls for being here. Um, and see you soon. Have a great day. Thank you, thank everyone. you everyone. Thanks for joining. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye guys. Bye.